Greetings, galactic warriors of the Terra Nova Gaian lineage of the new Yarushalem, our angelic lineage of the 144 ascending into the frequencies of the new earth. Today, many shifts, activations, downloads of the higher frequencies, the higher energies. Many of us experienced a type of splitting of realities almost like a two timeline split through this quickening of higher dimensional frequencies to assist all star blossoms to transform, transcend, and transmute the lower energies, the lower frequencies of the false 3D matrix to rise into the 5D manifestation of our higher light bodies here now in this vessel in the holy temple that we now reside in. We'll talk about this timeline split in today's transmissions. Today we had a 15 hertz magnitude manifestation on the Schumann charts with the 6 energy, 6D energy flowing in many codes again today in activations. We had 112 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, most powerful 5.5 five west of Macquarie Islands which is south of Australia, in the South Pacific Ocean. That was at 319 UTC with the 10 energy, 53.926 latitude, 140.599 longitude. So we had the 555 and the 99 encoded in this activation. There is a trinity of activations surrounding the portal that I am anchoring into now that formed a perfect triangle, a perfect pyramid, and these happen within the three earthquakes within three hours of each other. In the north, we had a 3.0 in San Juan Islands, Washington at 1644 UTC. And in the east, we had a 3.1 in southern Idaho. And then in the south, 3.2 in northern California, 1950 UTC. 38.789 latitude, 122.725 longitude. So we had the 37 into 73, the 88, and the 222. And I am right in the middle of this pyramid, close to what would be the base or the foundation in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains, or what is called the Cascade Range, a range of mountains which Mount St. Helens, Mount Hood, and Mount Adams, the Trinity, also Mount Rainier is part of the Cascade Range. Many powerful energies and portals in this area. We had a 4.8 magnitude in the Sacred Portal in Peru, the 12 energy coming in. And this was in the Sacred Andes Mountains close to Lake Titicaca, which borders Bolivia and Peru. And then we had in south of there in the Sacred Portal, in Chile, a 4-4, also in the sacred Andes Mountains where our sacred condor flies high. And then north in South America, Colombia, with a 4.7, 6.866, latitude 73.072. We have the 11, the 666, and the 73, 146 kilometers depth. Nevada, we had a 4.0. In the sacred portal in New Zealand, 4.8, another 12 activation of the divine feminine energy. The energies of the goddess are fully activated with this Lemurian energy. We're feeling this through our sacred portal. We had another two activations in Peru, the sacred Andes Mountains in the south, 4.5, and in northern Peru in the Amazon. 4.5 so encoded in these two portals the 99 the 99 sky beings the 99 tengri are with us now as our ancestors are here now to assist us in this great shift this great awakening victory to the light beloved ones we'll start today's first transmission from sandra walter with the divine creator state decree i call forth the infinite supply of divine love to pour into my heart 
I direct this flow to my path for the unfoldment of mastery and grace. In this now, from ascensionpath.com, and today from Divine Bro Star of the Light Pars Kute, we are now experiencing the final release and letting go and removing all that we no longer resonate or align with. We are the brave, the strong, and the courageous love light beings who persevere and are triumphant. We feel also the great cosmic energies and the support of our galactic families. We are definitely on our ascension journey as we are facing and seeing the intense and even fierce emotions playing out in our world. The news is difficult to ignore. Our world feels torn and shaken to the core. A great deal of purging of the corruption and negativity is occurring. At all costs, people are showing a burning desire for peace, freedom, justice, stability, and happiness for all. We have all wanted this for humanity around the world. We did not want this division. We did not want fear, poverty, sickness, isolation, prejudice, slavery, wars, etc. We have always wanted love, joy, peace, and abundance. And this shall be done with sacred love of one. And from Isis channelings, Pleiades culminates at midnight tonight. Sawen or Samhain gateway closes. Tonight, November 20 to 21st, the Pleiades culminates, reaches its highest point in the midnight sky, an event that coincided with the celebration of Samhain in ancient times. Pleiades is the portal via which all incarnated souls first entered as blue-green light seeds in Lemurian times and it is from this portal that they may exit on completion of soul progression, but because of distortions that were allowed to penetrate into the guiding blueprint over time, the exit gateway was no longer accessible, and souls got trapped into a birth and rebirth loop, according to information received during my client channeling sessions. Perhaps this is why many of the Aztec and Mayan pyramids such as the Pyramid of the Sun, is aligned with the setting of the Pleiades on this night. These pyramids hold the ancient wisdom of the four-petaled flower, clover leaf of the mother aspect of the Divine Feminine, the creative aspect which is also aligned with the four winds of change that blows at times of change of an epoch, that is, blows away remnants of an old age that is on the verge of death and decay and brings in seeds of new foundations for a new age exactly where we are presently. On a side note, it is interesting to note that a Stargate was opened on 444, April 4th, 2020, this year of 2020 when Venus aligned with the Orion, Sirius, Aldebaran, Pleiades Gateway, which also coincided with the Mary Magdalene Portal Day and a Jupiter-Pluto conjunct, and as Pleiades reaches its culmination, the numerology boils down to 20 to 2020. Hence, this astrological event brings us to the end of Samhain, Halloween Gateway of Death, Transformation, Regenesis, and Rebirth. We have been in a sacred womb space cauldron of transfiguration where ancient ancestral woundings have come to the fore to be healed and released as one of your functions as a sentinel of the goddess, mother aspect, birthing a new age is to be the channel of release of old ancestral wounds, maternal and paternal. You recognize these wounds, acknowledge them, heal them across timelines past and future, and release them, your physical body vessel acting as the transmutation cauldron. So that is why many sentinels may be experiencing issues with womb, chest, breasts, hearts and lungs, and solar plexus. Venus, Inanna, home of the four-petaled Mother Wisdom, is presently at Solar Plexus on her shamanic journey of death and rebirth. The Solar Plexus provides the fire of transmutation. Note healing and releasing is only one part of the journey. Currently, post the releasing healing we have been doing for the past few weeks since Navratris, we will be continuously tested, triggered, with the same woundings, watch your response, for that is the final test which determines whether you progress onto the next level or go for another repeat loop. This Sa Wen portal, October 31st through November 21st, has been a sacred period of inward retreat, withdrawal, silence, introspection, and healing. Take your time and space to allow this process of recalibration 
to unfold and don't be in a hurry to rush into way show or teacher mentor mode. The world can and will wait. Honor the womb space and the womb wisdom it has to offer. Hold space for the tiny seedlings of truth aligned with mother aspect of the divine feminine that are sprouting. These have to be nurtured and protected from the vice-like grip of patriarchal attitudes of control, power, entitlement, manipulation, domination, and subjugation playing out so blatantly on a world stage currently. Dare to face the truths that this womb wisdom is showing you and take courageous action steps as guided, upheld on the foundations of forgiveness, self and others, and compassion. Be light in light and grace. IsisChannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Abigail Wainwright, My dearest one, there is a breakthrough at hand. You are breaking apart and you might not fully understand it at all. Please know that this journey is not something meant to be understood. Even knowing this simple truth, it is not something easy to endure. You have been so worried that you went too far that you cannot recover, that you might not ever come back together again. How much longer, however, can you continue to hold back from divine love that is calling you, luring you magnetically to become all that you are, and activate the remembrance of your soul and divine nature? You can keep trying to resist, but really, what purpose is this for? Take this temporary rest, dear one, then dive into that storm. Let yourself be broken open and to feel the heart of the divine. Let yourself become your truth, embodying all that you are meant to be. Always remember that to experience broken heartedness is far better than to protect yourself from love. Let yourself grow through this broken heartedness so you may experience divine love. No matter the sadness, despair, anger, or frustration, realize it is not dark forces doing this but the loving embrace of the divine. As it strips you of all that keeps you from your divine self, Surrender and realize this experience is going to be the making of you. Do not allow anything to cast a shadow on your dreams. Break free from these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you through this. The time is right now. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Tanya Gabrielle, Happy 11-20-2020. 11-20-2020 is a powerful sequence of numbers that will inspire the final 11 days of November. The 11 portal opens up into a triple 202020 code. Never again will this powerful code be activated in this century. 11 is in the same family as 20, both reduced to the root number 2, vibration of peace, balance, harmony, and serenity. This special 1120 2020 code happens in an advantageous moment as the 11 gateway helps to restore order for universal year, love, six universal month, and recognizes opportunities for negotiation, 2011-2. Even in a seeming world of chaos, you can feel the divine order as a total recalibration and restoring of priorities and intentions takes form. This is powerful. Saturn, the planet of destiny, timing and order is activated right now by the Sun and Venus. If your intention is to explore the best solution for the highest good of everyone, this star code brings positive news. Your relationships will have more defined boundaries. Your financial flow is activated by what brings you pleasure and stimulates you creatively. So define what that means to you. Your inner and outer sanctuary, home office are beautified by scents, flowers, art, music, creating a sacred space for spirit to flourish. A clear message is being sent. The timing is perfect to create heaven on earth. Clearly, energy is stirred up, so take a leap and jump right in. In doing so, you create a sacred connection with others, while also discovering much more about how these energies impact you as you co-create a new earth. If you want to stay serene and confident in the face of external chaos, this is the only choice you have. Take a leap of faith. Trust in the divine. The divine is always present, so there is never a reason to be afraid. That is what today's code reminds us of. Eternity. 11-20-2020 adds up to 8. Number of infinite resources, leadership, abundance, and eternal life. These times require that you lead with your heart. Listen to your feelings. Navigate with your intuition, not your head. Your heart will inspire you to speak up. 
be fully present in who you are, voice the messages that are truly inspired, and proclaim what your greatest hopes are from TanyaGabrielle.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Abundance is truth is everywhere and in all forms and expressions. Most people concentrate on one area in life where they perceive lack while not seeing where abundance is there already in and around them in profusion. For indeed, abundance is a state of the heart and soul. The soul is infinite. The heart is abundant in all forms and expressions thereof. More than this, in this moment, if you open your eyes and ask to see clearly, you will find that abundance is already within and around you. Nothing is in truth missing. It may just be that you are staring at closed doors and not seeing the open doors and infinite supply which is already there and yours. When you start becoming grateful for what you already have, for what is already there in your life, you will receive more to be grateful for. Indeed, the most precious things in life have no price tags. Once we see from the heart and soul, all else falls in place. For indeed, the universe is always in continuous flow. All is in truth. One. From JudithKusel.com from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lua Astrology. The Sun and Scorpio conjunct asteroid Hebe and semi-sextile Venus and Libra, Venus opposite Black Moon and Lilith, retrograde and Aries. To see each other as human beings is the first step towards reconciliation. No matter how much we want to explain what we think is important, we must first meet eye to eye, heart to heart, we all have preferences and personal values, but we need to remove our blinders to have clearer vision. Demonizing and vilifying won't work. In relationships, acknowledge similarities to find a meeting point. Address any codependency and resist the urge to cast out aspects of yourself that you fear don't fit. Hebe asks us to remember that our inner child holds great power. The more we release our fears, the greater our potential to access creative magic. Be a student of life, open to learning. Even if the lesson is difficult, trust your instincts. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Divine order is bringing final endings from slavery today, particularly in your masculine power. This is a leap forward into being the leader of your own life and reality. Claim your strength and sovereignty as your birthright today. You are guided to leave the past for good and walk a new path fully into the light of Creator. Continue forward as this is the right action to take today. You are expanding out of limitations that held you back for good. Our tribe is entering the birth canal one soldier at a time. We are free from the past Piscean cycle and ready to soar, beloveds. Saddle up. This Gemini full moon eclipse on November 30, 2020 is opening the floodgates for your rebirth to occur. Until then, you are transmuting what needs to go for your 12 strands of DNA to complete. Hold your grail cup close as the world around you collapses. You are so close to finding your love and light within yourself. You are the emerald spirit. These cues are coming to the forefront now. Emotions are healing and expanding into unconditional love of new levels of experience. This love is delivering message to you through the quantum field. Receive and align into your new position as first, first fruits. Nothing you can make that can't be made. No one you can save that can't be saved. Nothing you can do, but you can learn how to be you in time. It's easy. All you need is love. All you need is love. The Holy Spirit is here today supporting your ascension home. Judgments are continuing from the Scorpio New Moon that are raising you and your ancestral bloodline up to receive the Spirit. Romans 8.11 But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. This is the destiny for the Divine Feminine Christ. We are collectively moving forward as an embodiment of the Divine Feminine Christ into our season of harvest. We are asked to continue moving forward bravely into our new earth kingdom reality. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as promised. We are being called to step fully into our feminine birthrights now. The Divine Masculine are fighting their way out of entrapment and need our support. 
Listen for guidance, receive, ground, hold space, and be positive and faithful. The light of the Creator is destroying the old monarch and designed for good now through Jah's warriors. This is liberation for us to receive our new beginning in love, emotional fulfillment, and Heros Gamos alchemical union. The great divide of the two bloodlines on planet Earth is complete. There are now two realities, one for the serpent's bloodline, and one for Yahweh's Israelite bloodline. A blessed new beginning has commenced today for our covenant, family, and ancestors. All praises to the Most High. Alleluia. Love, Carolyn. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Victoria Lillianquist. Dear beloved family, we are moving quickly through this dimensional shift. Hold on, we are all feeling changes in our bodies. Hang in there. Hi, surfing through this, stay positive, safe, loving, sending my love, Victoria, from Divine Sister of the Light Swan, Hummingbird. We are expanding our rainbow light body greatly at this time. Do not attempt to control our perceptual changes right now. Do not apply previous understandings to it. This is new. Our beingness is expanding beyond what was. Yet remember that this is love too, it is not separate. It is always you, no matter how big you expand. It is always unconditional presence. We are passing through a big level of separation from our past, which may make even the expansion feel separate. Accept everything that has been and everything that will be. And from Tibetan Buddhist master Chamtru Rinpoche, never underestimate the power of blessings. Just how the sun shines onto this world without ever discriminating. The compassionate wisdom energy of all the Buddhas pervades everything, no matter where you are, no matter what you do. This energy is always there, it is always with you. But just as you need to open your eyes to experience the light of the sun, you have to open your mind with unshakable devotion to experience the blessings of the energy of the Buddhas. The more that your mind opens, the greater the blessings that will energize your mind and power your practice all of the way to your enlightenment. And today, from Galactic Destiny readings, the rise of the Golden Eagle and the flight of the Holy Dove. We are currently adventuring in the zodiac sign of Scorpio until November 22nd, 2020. Scorpio is associated with the sting of the scorpion, control, power, greed, corruption, and sexual depravity. The shadow side of Scorpio, all the traits of this old paradigm we are shedding. As scorpions embrace and heal their shadow, they begin to transform and rise as the phoenix, soon to be reborn again as the golden eagle, having found their wings to fly and soar to the heavens above, becoming the purified holy white dove of spirit. A total regenesis. The eagle is also the symbol of America, the new Jerusalem, which is currently in the state of stasis, waiting to be reborn anew and rise once more as the majestic golden eagle. In a few days we shall commence the glory days and the sign of freedom. Loving Sagittarius, the time for truth, justice, and higher wisdom to prevail. This promises to be a liberating time for us all when we can truly fly like the golden eagles. All these scripts are synchronistically harmonizing with the Blue Eagle Wave Spell, 19 November through December 1st, 2020, as humanity is transcending our darkness and evolving through the golden eagle to embody the Holy Spirit and Christ consciousness in this new age of light. 20th November 2020 is the day of the yellow lunar warrior we have a 2 2 22 piece in harmony coding as well as a triple 20 awakening code. So, this is another monumental day. The interesting aspect of Kin 236 is that the white lunar world bridger is in the challenge gift position. Divine gratitude to all the courageous players on the global stage in this planetary chess game. What a game! What a grand adventure for planet Earth and all her inhabitants. Enjoy the show. Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 236, Yellow Lunar Warrior. Lunar is the name for the number two and its keywords are challenge, polarize, and stabilize. To proceed through this wave spell, we must first identify the challenges that lay ahead. Before we can turn a challenge around and solve the problem, we must first identify the issue. 
Take a look today at what is holding you back and make a plan to do something about it. Today is Yellow Warrior and the key words associated with it are intelligence, fearlessness, and questioning. Yellow Warrior invites us to go on a mission, to accept a quest, contemplate today what you could achieve using your willpower, and by thinking like the warrior. Wield a sword and don't be shy about marching forward. Yellow Warrior days are all about wielding your willpower, using your intelligence and asking the right questions. When you combine the meaning of both the number and the day, the result is facing challenges with fearlessness. It's a great combo today because who better to deal with challenges than the warrior? The yellow warrior loves missions and quests, so today, try to be a warrior. You will find dealing with problems will be easy peasy. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Lunar Warrior, Kin 236, 20, November 2020. Fearless questioning, stabilizing challenges. 2011 2020 equal 22 22 equal 2 2 22 equal 22 22. Peace portal. 22 2020 triple 20 awakening to the divine. 2 2 22 equal 4 4. 44 equal 8. 20 the awakening. 2020 clear vision. 2 twins partner cooperation. 22 master builder architect of peace. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 8. Abundance, Infinity, Source, Flow. Kin 236 equal 11 equal 2. Lunar Tone Challenge equal Tone number 2. 6 times the power of 2. Time for Heavenly, Peace, Union, and Cooperation. A Divine Awakening Code. Today's code, the Warrior plus Lunar Tone of Challenge, Questioning Reality can be very combustible with the volatility to cause arguments. So be aware and intelligently choose to be the peaceful spiritual warrior. Day 2 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity so that we can create it, envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our 2020 visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Today we are fearlessly questioning the duality conflicts in the current paradigm in order to envision a harmonious world of unity, love, peace, and abundance. Tone of creation, lunar, tone two in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Today we are focused on the physical plane and how we can anchor the collective vision of peace and harmony, abundance, in our physical reality. A day filled with uncovering how you can transcend the seesaw challenges to infinite abundance and joy, examining and questioning the separation between the haves and the have-nots. It is time to balance and harmonize this discrepancy. It is time to step out of the duality game and all its possible challenges in order to move into more constant flow. Polarity reveals your conflicts, struggles, and the apparent separation created by your belief in duality. Polarized positions actually work in cooperative alliance. In cooperation, all polarities serve as backgrounds for full appreciation of one another and the whole. Examine the opposites in polarity to giving and receiving joy and abundance. Allow yourself to receive and rise above any lack or illusion. Be mindful of any conflicts, relationship challenges that arise today, revealing what needs to be addressed in order to reach equilibrium and harmony in your life. Dare to dream of a better world as we collectively create our planetary dreaming. Overall, a day filled with questioning and possible challenges in order to resolve any limiting fears leading you back to wholeness. Today's question, what challenges on the quest I am on need to be stabilized in order to rein in a new harmonious era of peace, love, and joy? May your intelligence lead you to unified and harmonious divine alliances today. In Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 236, Yellow Lunar Warrior. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to question, stabilizing fearlessness, I seal the output of intelligence.
with the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of elegance. So on this powerful day, great beings of elegance, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And thank you everyone for your amazing, wonderful comments. These are all being recorded in the Akash of time and being transmitted to our galactic nation. So thank you all for sharing from your heart your stories and sharing your love, your light, and your bliss with all of us in this great community of love workers. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And as always, we have a link in the description to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd also like to take the time to thank everyone for your support on Patreon and your donations. It's because of all of you and your pledges and donations that I'm able to bring these transmissions to the world daily for free. And I have many great things coming out on Patreon. There's several projects I'm working on right now. And in the future, when I'm anchored into a place to stay more permanently, I'll be able to do more work and put out more teachings and practices and maybe do some live events, meditations, training. But I have a little ways to go. I would like to welcome and thank Divine Bro Star of the Light, Stephen Rogers, for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to also thank and welcome Divine Angel of the Light, Agneta, for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Hallie Turpin, for your pledge and support. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Aketa Aurora for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Bella Improviso for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Akasha Nicole Kaufman for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Beth Ween for your pledge and support on Patreon. And I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Deborah Kiliazak, for your pledge and support. One of our angels in Cleveland. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you, Sister. And we'll be talking soon. So if you'd like to support my work and mission, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. As those of you know, I'm relying 100% now to earn a living due to the me moving out west, leaving my business. I shut down the YouTube monetization and now I rely 100% on the pledges on Patreon and the donation. So thank you all for your support. I appreciate you all very deeply. I'd like to thank Divine Bro Star of the Light, David Draghi, for your donation today. Thank you, brother. 37 into the 73, 144. Heaven on earth. Aho. So I'll end today's transmissions with a quick update on the progress of our vision and my connection to another one of our beings of light and our team of 144 and end with a powerful mantra for abundance and, and freedom. Today I connected and locked arms with one of our great bro stars of the light, Asan, who's anchoring the codes into the sacred portal in Virginia. So I'd like to shout out to Hassan and his crystal child son, who's five years old, who he told me today walks around the house saying, the eagle and the condor. So the crystal children, though. <laughs> so I send you all my love and light and blessings, Hassan and la familia. So I spoke with Hassan today, who is going to assist me as my right-hand man to help manifest my vision and dream of for one, a home, and then a separate property for the healing retreat and sanctuary, sustainable community. So we'll be in the process. He's working on a plan on how to raise funds through certain organizations and different means. So many of you will come to know Asan very well in the near future. He's one of my direct team. And like I said yesterday, I will be in the process of assembling the Council of Nine to 
assist all of our teams around the world that will be creating these blueprints for healing centers and retreats. This will be the first in Washington State, close to, we say, Clark County. So once we have something established, a business plan, some kind of funding plan, which Asan in the next few days will be working on this plan, I will bring to all of you in the near future and find ways to make this happen as soon as possible and so that many of you can be involved and all of you will have the opportunity to experience this manifestation of a dream and vision I've had for many years. So as the son and I talk today, part of the vision is bringing the crystal children together. They are teaching all of us. These crystal children already resonate in 5D and they're teaching us how to live life on the new earth. They already have it. They got this, beloved. So no fears. Just be aware of the teachings and lessons and energy coming from these children. And we see, we have vision of new schools, new education systems to inspire, uplift, and tap into all beings, all conscious beings, genius within the genetic code, the gene, the genie, the genius within all beings. And this is the infinite creative potential that is going to create this heaven on earth, this new earth, this new Eden. And it's going to come through in many ways. And this is just the beginning. So thank you all that are supporting myself and our team on this great venture together, this adventure, this journey. And of course, every day, I thank the Great Spirit and all of you that assisted me on my journey to my sacred condor my goddess, my queen, my everything, my divine union, Heros Gamos, where every day I get to witness miracles. The last 33 days have been the greatest days of my 47 years in this realm. So that energy that is being uplifted and inspired to activate the fires of passion within, and that is how we navigate these new energies, by seeking what you are passionate about and what fires you up and lights you up. We light up the grid with our passions, with our art, with our creativity, with our visions, our dreams. That is why I have you leave them in the comments. It assists all of humanity and all lightworkers, starseeds, with your words and your energy. Your energy goes into that. When I see your name and the comment you leave, I know who you are. We know who you are. Our galactic families know who you are. I can see into your Akash, and I love you all. And you know this, I get many messages. I'm getting so many messages and emails, I can't keep up with them all. Through Patreon, Facebook, emails, all these things. So I'm doing my best. Bear with me, angels of the light. For our time has come. Freedom for all, abundance for all, forevermore. No more falling back into false timelines, into illusions, delusions. It's the end of the suffering game. Like the great master teacher Barry Long said, one of the greatest questions you can ask yourself is, have I suffered enough? And I know all star seeds, all star blossoms can answer that very easily. Yes, we have suffered enough and we are here to end the suffering game of separation and dualistic thinking. We have broken the mold and now create new patterns, sacred patterns of sacred geometry of the love, the light, the Christos, Magdalene energy, Shakti, Shiva, divine consorts here through this great awakening of consciousness. So we end this transmission here today with the mantra of abundance and prosperity called Shreem Brzi. So let go into the frequency, the energy you can practice this mantra daily to help attract and manifest great abundance in your life. So take a deep breath, let go into whatever feelings arise and visualize, see, hold for 73 seconds your vision on what your true heart's desire is. Shreem Brzee Shreem Brzee
and take a moment and with your mind's eye, with your vision, with the eyes of your spirit, on your right index finger, the tip of your finger, see it glowing blue, like a blue light, a blue flame, the tip of your right hand, the right finger, the right index finger, and point it to your heart center. And feel the rose and the blue, the pink rose and the blue, come together to create the violet, the violet flame, the violet ray. And you can use that energy, utilize the blue light, the blue ray, the blue flame, to activate your healing energy, your abundance energy into the pink, the violet, the Magdalene, the Christos, come together. The power and the force unite to create divine sanctity and divine frequencies in this symphony we call life. Have a beautiful and blessed day, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.